I'm your Aransas Pass neighborhood news reporter Victoria Balderrama at Con Brown Harbor where shrimp season is in full swing. It's a busy time after being closed for more than two months. State and federal waters have reopened to commercial shrimping. Boats are coming out of Palacios, Aransas Pass, Brownsville, Galveston, all the different ports. An armada of shrimp boats is off to the Gulf of Mexico, hoping to fill their nets with tiny treasures. Ciso Robles works at Con Brown Harbor, where he fuels up shrimp boats for Erickson and Jensen seafood packers. The next few days, we'll start hearing something of how they're catching, what's the, uh, you know, how, how abundant the shrimp are. Erickson and Jensen seafood packers is one of the only shrimp fleets left in Aranza's Pass. Robles says several factors have dwindled the number of shrimpers. It's a hard business. It's tough. The price of fuel, the price of fuel is, say, uh, over three dollars a gallon for fuel. Grant Erickson, the owner of Erickson and Jensen Seafood Packers, is in Florida with the rest of the fleet. He tells us there's unfair competition in the U.S. shrimp market. According to the Southern Shrimp Alliance, U.S. shrimpers produce less than 10 percent of shrimp sold in the United States. Shrimp prices are just so low right now that it's just it's it's a disaster. Now, you know, all these countries that produce farm raised shrimp where the United States can't do it for the price that they do it in India, in China, in Ecuador. Erickson says foreign competition affects the price they can get for their catch. A shrimp boat has to catch a tremendous amount to make expenses. It's very hard to do. But Erickson remains committed to selling wild caught shrimp. He expects to have good news by the end of next week. Port Aransas neighborhood news reporter Erin Hawley also visited Con Brown Harbor. She spoke with local shrimpers about how the Gulf shrimp season affects them. She joins us with that part of the story. Erin?